In this video, I'm going to register the Initab 3 with the Learning Lodge Navigator. I got the USB cable plugged in and the little rubber thing is a pain to get out. But that's good because it means your kids won't get it out and rip it. Anyway, I got connected via USB to my computer and the Learning Lodge software is pulled up. Someone to click on this, it says click the setup just down below it. So I click on it and it goes to the loading screens and it hopefully should say it's out of date and it will uh, want to update the software and hopefully it will change it from trial version to some kind of full version so there we go connected good 3s is connected yes we accept all the terms okay and we get one complimentary download for buying a 3s the inatab 2 came with two downloads the inatab 3 came with one and the inatab 3s comes with one Good. This is where you can set up all your kids so that it can do reporting on what they're learning and what they're playing so that you can keep track of it. I'm going to be cutting out some of this video so that you guys don't have to see all this loading screen because it's just loading and it seems to be doing a lot of loading ooh VTech could connect finally finally oh no it's just tricking me <laughs> uh. oh there it is an update is required. Finally! Gosh, I've been sitting here for like two, three minutes waiting for this thing just saying loading. Oh, it's just downloading the update automatically. Oh, that's good. Oh, good. Firmware update. Yes, of course we want to do it. That's why we're doing this. No, that was just downloading it off the internet into the learning lodge. Now the learning lodge is pushing it, pushing the update over to the Inatab 3. Oh good. I don't know why all this cannot be done over the air directly to the Inatab instead of having to go through the learning lodge. Turn off into tab 3S, turn it back on. Oh, turn it off, disconnect the USB cable and turn it back on. During the upgrade, you'll see a black screen on the tab 3 for a short period of time. Just wait. Okay. Unplug it. And here it is. See you again soon. Turn it off. And Turn it on. And turn it on. There we go. And also, if you notice, the uh, splash screen is in landscape mode also. Not like the other ones where it's in the portrait mode. And there's my camera. Firmware update in progress. Update may take a few minutes to complete. Importantly, do not turn off your tablet. But if you notice on this, they VTech did do away with the different colored buttons. And now they have all mostly black buttons with different colors of icons on them. That was a big complaint people made it about the previous end of tabs is that they were too childish with all the different colors on them. And tab 3S. I thought. Isn't it supposed to be for children? That's why it's childish, so that's kind of okay. But, I don't know, a lot of people didn't like it. Touch a profile photo to start, or touch get. And look, they also made the camera gray instead of the orange color like it was before. It's awesome. It's probably gonna ask what day it is, what time it is.
For some reason, VTEC couldn't figure it out on the end of tab three. Hello! Hey, look at that. Didn't ask what time it was. Nice. Okay. How would you like Let's to go over here into an icon to get started. Settings. settings. All right, there we go. Settings, and again, still not fixed for the end of tab 3S and la landscape mode, only portrait. Anyway, settings, about. we'll go to about, and it says full version, oh good, 37.308.09 in the MAC address. Okay. Good, they got it figured out. Congratulations everyone, you no longer have a trial version. Anyway, that's how you can update the firmware in your in a tab three. Oh, look at that! It actually flips over to to landscape to portrait mode or landscape mode. That's kind of cool. I don't know if that's new or not. I didn't check in the previous version. But anyway, that's how you update the firmware, and hopefully um, yours will update just as easily as mine did. Although hopefully it won't take quite as long. And I'll do some videos here in a little bit about the. Uh, what what type of videos this can play and a review of some video conversion software one of them is the WinX product and uh, WinX HD video converter deluxe I think is what it's called and uh, I'm going to be giving giving away some free licenses to some subscribers so check back in a few days and hopefully I'll have a video out there describing how you can uh, enter to win them thank you very much thanks for watching